Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Life Stories. Today we're talking about those days that we have strong attachment to and we feel so strongly about. With me on the show is General Eli Tumwine and he's still taking us through his first November and next we're going to be looking at how it has impacted on his life and his general outlook on things. So, General, do you think the things that you've been through are ordinarily the things that other people go through in their lives? I don't think there is anybody who goes through the same thing like others. Every person, and that's why God is a designer that I'm telling you, I'm now fond of, mm -hmm. is interesting mm -hmm. that each person does not only become, is not only unique, but each person goes through a unique experience. And that's what makes us different and that's what makes us actually, that's what it means, it makes it important for us to share Mm. our experiences mm. and I'm happy about this program because my experience in this incident of, of uh, the day in particular is that you see as we are here now we are already talking about it what will I present what will I exhibit what will I do on this year's first of November 2011 uh, was dedicated to the history of the struggle and my life history so right from behind it's about my life history and then even the history of the heads of state of Africa. Now this area was dedicated to the heroes of NRA and UPDF and this painting is called Raising the Flag and Raising the Flag uh, is showing that everyone contributed to Raising the Flag uh, and those who are on this side and this side are our late comrades. Some of them, even after the war, uh, those who died, even when we had come, like these ones, died later. Uh, uh, they were most, some died of sickness uh, after we had reached, but they were great comrades. Uh, Lumumba was even a member of NRC, Hedek Mugisha, Kano Katerega, Kani Kondere, uh, Mwene Mze, Kano Serwanga. So those, but these ones are alive. Like uh, Kano Fred Moise, uh, Kano Tumuhairwe, JJ Odong, Kano uh, uh, Lieutenant General Ivan Koreta, Taban. You know, some of them can't remember themselves when they look at themselves now, because these were taken long ago, and they have now changed, or we have all changed. So sometimes it plays also to capture those old moments and memories. And while on the other side we have photographs which were 20 years old, uh, which I took to more than 20 years ago and those are showing the old people uh, of different uh, aspects of society. This is the, the first uh, what Army Council in 86, uh, with the President Museveni, General Tumwene, Fred Rijema, uh, uh, David Tinyefuza, Tadeo Kanyankore, Serwanga, Ivan Koreta. It gives me a moment to remember. It gives me a moment to think takes me back, brings me where we are, and gives me an idea of forward, how to move forward. And it really means a lot to me. Each of us is lucky to be alive. As the general reminisces about the struggle, the ideals, and his fallen comrades, he preaches a message of hope. No one should live in fear because of what has happened in the past. It should not be allowed to control one's life. It is important to let go and embrace whatever opportunities are available to lead a meaningful life. Wazalendo pamoja wazalendo pamoja ushindi wetu ni warazima. It says that all patriots so and so died on the during the war of, of fighting for our country but our victory is sure. And therefore, I use 1st of November, not only to remember, but to move forward. Uh, General, speaking of moving forward, we have a crisis because there's so many people out there whereby there's a certain month or day, and on that day, the person probably lost their parent or friend or sibling. And somehow around the, around the same time or the same day, that person got an accident. It, 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 it may not be consecutive, like year to year, but all the things that they consider 
ugly have happened on that day. And instead of feeling, you know, feeling triumph out of those tragedies, they are always afraid. I'm telling you, people have days where they lock themselves in the houses. They don't go anywhere. They're like, I cannot go anywhere on that day because I know that I'm in danger. So what do you have to say about that? I have to say that I think they are self-creating it. You see, much of what we believe is what we live for. So once you put it into your mind that this day is a dangerous day, then the, mind, the brain saves it and tells you it's a dangerous day. Once you put in your mind that this is the day when I'll have trouble, then you create fear. Mm. And actually, success, one of the first steps of success is to move fear. Mm. Once you've gone through what could have killed you, why are you fearing that you might die? Or you might, for if it is, even if you are in the house, you could actually be more in danger there mm. than out there celebrating or encouraging other people to be happy. Mm. So if anything, I want to encourage people that please don't create fear over your life. First of all, when you wake up every morning, thank God that you, you know you are half alive. You've woken up and God has given you a new day. Mm. Praise Him and thank Him and say, oh, another day for me. Because nobody knows how many days he or she has. So God is the design of a human being if we use the human being as a motif. I have said this many times. You look at the eyes, and I'm now looking at you. You look at the eyes, mm. you look at the ears, you look at the nose, you look at the mouth, I'm moving down the breasts, and further down, the, hair, the hands and the legs, they are all pointing forward. He did not put one eye here and put another one behind. Mm. No, did he turn one ear to face this way and this one face this way. Mm. He f made this face one direction. He only put, behind he only put the exos to push out the wrong <laughs> things. So that's why I say that the things we have passed through, we should leave them behind. But they should help us to move forward. The spirit is resilient and everyone can find it within himself to take on whatever challenges life throws his way and rise above them. It takes faith, it takes courage, and it most definitely takes resolve. And God's design is perfect, is to move us forward. But you find people killing themselves, say, oh, he abused me yesterday, oh, yesterday he did good enough. It happened, but what is the future holding? What can you put for the future? Oh, I got injured, so what? I'm lame, so what? You, you, being lame is not the end of the world. So really, that attitude to incidents that happen to your life, they are just reminders that you are different from me. So don't compare yourself even where you have a limitation in one way. You have an advantage in another. Remove fear and you will succeed. When you are saying, we have to mukuru. You don't ask a catastrophe from somebody who is just old, but the one who has gone through it. And I know the youth. Or the, if you hear what the youth are saying these days, there is no employment, or there are problems. They are only looking at the dangers instead of looking at the possibilities, at the opportunities, at the chances they have, at the available resources to take advantage of. So it goes to the whole psyche of one's mind on how do you manage your own life. Your message is very inspiring and thank you for sharing with us. You're still watching Life Stories and we heard the message clearly from the general. He says, stop creating fear in your life despite the different incidents that you have gone through. You've been through hurtful things, yes, but you can choose to organize your life and move forward. You're here today because God has blessed you with life. Next on the show, we shall be having a psychiatrist and counselor who will be telling us more about this day. You're still watching Life Stories. With me right now is Dr. Catherine Abo. She's a psychiatrist at Malago Hospital and a lecturer of psychiatry at Makere University. Dr. Catherine is going to be telling us about the connection between our memory, our mind, and our behavior. Hello, Dr. Catherine. Hello. Dr. Catherine, we have a situation of uh, General Eli Tumwine. He's had these, you know, he's had events, sad occurrences in his life happening around the same period of their 
but currently he switched from fear from expecting that maybe something would still go wrong to thinking that this should be actually a, a period that he celebrates that he came face to face with whatever tragedy it was and he's still here and he's still living how does another person out there get their mind to think that was the power of um, positive thinking or changing your mind to thinking positively from negative thinking our memories um, very good at recording especially uh, events that have been traumatic to us and uh, and and this has effect on the way we we look at issues now if um, you have this negative event that has happened to you and that time comes and you begin to fear it's because your memory is uh, rewinding to the previous and um, once uh, we begin to change that and look at it in a positive manner it's a, a personal decision that one can take that I choose to look at the positive side of this event and from right from now on I'll be celebrating the, the fact that I survived this event other than uh, thinking about death because the more you think about negative things in your mind the more your behavior will um, take you towards that so the mind is really very powerful in conclusion Dr. Catherine what help does a psychiatrist have to offer to us and you know the public out there about our fears? Train our minds to uh, think positively. Mm. Whatever you think, consciously or subconsciously, will be reflected in the way you behave. All right, thank you, Dr. Catherine, for talking to us about our fears. I guess so many people out there now know better how to handle their bad memories and their fears and stress management. Thank you so much and I know that you just did some unfolding of part of the mystery. Thank you so much and stay well. Thank you. Thank you very much and there is something which says that the future belongs to the mm. organized mm. and the better future mm. belongs to the better organized. The more you organize yourself, the better future you will have. Fear is a big problem, living with me and you every day, and it just cannot be dismissed. It is important, though, that we understand that fear can be overcome by faith. You have the power to have more faith than fear. If you're there and still fear that your hurtful experience could come around another time, another day, week, month, year, or season, simply change your mindset. Have a positive mindset, and positive living will come your way. Remember? You should get over that past, because if you don't let those wounds heal, you will bleed forever. That was it on Life Stories. Make peace with your past, your present, and your future will be peaceful too. Justine, your host, thank you for watching the show, and I'll see you next week.